Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Tsukiyomi today for you guys, and uh, I think we're gonna try some nonsense. I think we're gonna try some bobble build, and we're gonna test for ourselves whether it's actually thick, nasty OP, or is it just, you know, something you use for clickbait. Haha, <laughs> smile. Um, I haven't uploaded a uh, Tsukiyomi video in a long time. I think the most recent one was like in a dual training camp thing. Actually, wait, I don't wanna do this. Anyways, um, the last time I uploaded Tsukiyomi wasn't even a Tsukiyomi video. It was like a training camp video, so it wasn't even like for him specifically. <clears throat> so we don't count that. And before that, I think it was like six months ago or something. Something wild, I don't even know. I don't know if we should go med. I kind of want to go med because I'm going a bobble build and it just seems right to like... I don't know. If we're going 50% CDR, why wouldn't we want to spam cooldowns? I don't know. But maybe, maybe we're going to have so many cooldowns that the med is like... I don't know. Unnecessary. To say the least maybe maybe that'll be the case but regardless we're gonna get it because it's fun <clears throat> why not we're gonna say lancelot which is actually a pretty intimidating character um granted you have to be pretty good at lancelot i'd say to make him really scary but i have faced some pretty good lancelots in duel and uh they usually do give me a run for my money so we'll see what this game's like i don't think i want to trade with them at the very beginning i think we want to wait for our minions to get in here depends what he does though because <clears throat> if he like walks up on the wave okay he's not he's playing it mostly normal I would say go back here and cleave up these minions a little bit our start should be stronger than his right 20 power versus 30 power so go ahead and pop my 1 HP potion he does have a shell we gotta keep that in mind we have a med which is not as useful as the shell level three <clears throat> i mean it is gonna give us the mana back of course which we desperately need because oh wait oh my god i'm so dumb dude <laughs> dude the saddest part is i actually played a warm-up before this so i'm like a little bit more warmed up than like like i don't know this is my first game i've played one game so far but it was like a 10 and 0 like goofy game but anyways what happened there is i thought i hit level five so i tried to level my ult and, and ult him there that's what i just tried to do wow wow that was uh that was an interesting moment there now i i am five here <clears throat> god my voice <sighs> i am five here but uh i don't really think i kill him there i'll be honest especially through his shell that he still has so Let's go. Actually, I'm just going to back here. Why not? Call it a day. Dude, my voice has been so rough, man. That's actually um why I didn't show you guys my first warm-up game. Because it actually was going to be recording. But first of all, the game was stupid. Um, I went 10-0 and in 12 minutes. So, yeah. My opponent was pretty not great. But also, on top of that, I just felt like my voice kept, like, I don't know, man. Today's just not one of those days. I might be getting sick or something, I don't know. But my voice has been pretty pretty scratchy this morning. Pretty pretty go away -y. Go away <laughs> I'm gonna pop my horn shard here. I think we can actually kill him here. Oh, well, we missed one of our ults. And it looks like it wouldn't have mattered anyways. We can set up for a Chester spawn that's going to spawn right here. Nope. Right here. Just, just as I thought the first time. Of course. Yes. Be right back. Uh, hopefully he doesn't stop our back here, though. Uh, although it is possible. It is very possible. Alright, so for the premise of the video, I could go Transcendence first, don't get me wrong, I could. But for the premise of the video, or for the, well, not for the premise, but for the point of the video, the point of the video's premise, there we go, um, we are going to just rush cooldown as fast as possible, because it's more fun, and also, um, it's the point of the video, right? Like, uh, it's, it's to spam cooldowns. So I'm, wait, what is bro doing? Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty decent shield. Is he like putting points into his three? Am I crazy for thinking that? Oh, I missed, bro. I missed. Guess you never miss, huh? Oh, wait, how does that, how does that stupid Vine TikTok thing go again? I, I guess he doesn't miss. I, I guess I never met. Oh, dude, I already forgot. Something about the boyfriend and kissing you. That's all I remember. But that's so sad, too, because I bet, you, I bet a bunch of you guys probably forgot that, that, like, TikTok Vine, whatever it was. I don't remember. I bet you guys forgot that thing even existed, huh? And then I just brought it back into your lives. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But Tsukiyomi is probably so fun right now in this dual meta, to be honest. Like, if you like Tsukiyomi, because the fact that you can start Yotans and then, like, like you can rush CDR like this and still get your Transcendence if you, you know, if you're a Transcendence lover. You can still get that later on in the game. What the heck? He actually ulted for that. That's crazy. Look at my cooldowns. Look at my cooldowns. This is before Bobble, by the way. Uh, I missed my one, so that's why I don't have my one back. But the, the one cooldown, it goes insane, bro. Will we even be able to break this, bro? Oh my god, I actually threw that kill too. Did I s Wait, he's laughing. Wait, that's- no, that's not cool, bro. That's so not cool, bro. That's what you get. That's what you get, pal. No one laughs at me and gets away with it. Besides all the people who have laughed at me and gotten away with it, but... We don't really count those people. Alright, so where's my bobble, dude? We gotta get straight into this. You guys also will notice one thing about bobble that's pretty nice is it does have 20 MP5. And why does that matter? It matters because, like, on physicals, when you are when you want to rush it, like, like this, you want to rush it like this, like, don't get me wrong, this has 150 mana, this has 300 mana, 15 MP5, but you still have mana problems when you don't go transcendence and you're spamming cooldowns. So, the bobble helps you a little bit with your mana problems. You're still gonna have them, but it does, it does help. But look at my one cooldown when, when you pick it up. For those who don't know how Sikiyomi works. I know not everyone does. Dude, he has to be leveling that shield. There's no way, right? Do I, do I just do that little damage? I don't know. Maybe I do. But anyways, when Sukiyomi, it's kind of like a AMC stinger, if you know how that works. When you throw your one into somebody, if you walk in melee distance of them, you can pick it up off of them and it resets the cooldown by four seconds. So as you can see, it's only a... Um, it's only a 7.2 second cooldown, so lowering it by 4 seconds, that means it's a 3.2 second cooldown, right? And when you get Bobble, it makes it even lower, it makes it even more stupid. But I just want to point out that, like, you know, you don't have to go... Wow. You don't have to go Bobble Tsukiyomi for his, like, one cooldown to be stupid. Like, it's stupid regardless. But it does make it even more dumb. And most importantly, it gives you more ultimates. When you have more ultimates, you can play more aggro Tsukiyomi. Because his ult really is like an, an amazing offensive and defensive tool altogether, right? Alright, so we got the beads and the meditation. Both are cooldown relics if you upgrade them, which we have not upgraded them yet. But we will get there eventually, unless this guy surrenders. Hopefully he does not. I mean, he, he laughed at me earlier, and he's got a diamond border, so surely he wouldn't surrender, right? Alright, we got Bobble now. It's time to game. Look at my one cooldown, boys. Look at my one cooldown. Look at the one. Now, of course, it's not going to go back down unless I get in melee distance, right? <laughs> Let's see how much damage it did. My one did 712 because I hit him with it five times. And we're at, you got to remember, we're at the stage of the game where we both have defense purchased, right? We both have defense and no pen. So, you know, theoretically, at this stage of the game, we should not be doing that much damage to each other. I should not be hitting him that hard. And I'm not hitting him that hard. Like, I'm really not. I'm just hitting him a lot of times. Like, 
the fact that I hit him five times with my one and it only did that much damage is like, it, it's a testament to show you guys, like, I'm not even doing that much damage. I just do it all the time. Like, I just do it very frequently. Once we get this uh, serrated, though, we'll, we'll start hitting real hard. I think we should just ult him off cooldown, probably. It's a little bit tricky with his, like, horse. We don't really want the shield to eat our, our entire ultimate, but... Well, his ult's down. That's one thing we got going for us. That's one thing. I tried to throw that at the tower, but he blocked it. I don't even know if that was on purpose or not, but... That's another thing about Bobble. It's like, don't get me wrong, it's not better than just having like a Hydra's or something, I don't know. But like, technically you have more ones and threes to throw at the tower. I mean, that is just a fact. All right, this is where I'm gonna upgrade my relics after this, cause this is like my core build. It is notable, by the way, that we don't have a Hydra's in this build and not going Hydra's on Tsukiyomi is kind of like a crime, I think personally, but gotta be done like we could overcap our cdr even higher than uh 50 but like i don't know i just don't care that much serrated is a better spike overall and that's what we're doing all right now we should be doing damage baby <laughs> dude there's no way we do so much damage. I don't want to kill him with my ult though. Like at, we're at this point, we're we're at the point now where it's like I don't want to play with my food to the extent of like let him live or let him win, because you guys don't like that kind of stuff. But I could at least adjust my playstyle and like not ult him, because at this point I think it's overkill to ult him. Honestly, I think it's actually overkill to ult him. I think I could just spam my one and kill him like that. Let me go upgrade my mid. And I'm going to upgrade my beads too. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Upgrading my beads there was not worth it. Like, it's not good. Like, you shouldn't do a full 800 upgrade just for what I'm about to do with it. But I'm doing it for the video, man. I just want more cooldown resets. Although, I think... Oh, my God. I'm going to ult one time just so I can get to him. And that's the only reason. We beads for cooldown, and I'll be honest, the main cooldown I was trying to beads for was my two. I was trying to get my two back there, but like we ended up killing him without even needing to use our two because we do a million damage with the serrated. Maybe we shouldn't have went serrated, honestly, just so we do less damage so we can get more cooldowns off. I didn't think it would be this easy to kill him. Like, that's actually crazy. Alright, he's back. Brady's back. Look at this one cooldown, bro. <laughs> Dude, this is actually so stupid, bro. Oh my god. And now he surrenders, now that the game's over. Makes sense. Dude, this is actually insane, man. Like, don't get me wrong, Tsukiyomi's just an insane character, so I don't think this is, like, the new meta-breaking build by any means. Like, you could, you know, you could beat people just as easily without bobble but it does make it look more stupid and it does make it more fun right and it's also viable like just because it's a little gimmicky and like you know what i mean like oh wait he sold his entire build before the game ended what the heck <laughs> that's actually pretty funny but um i don't know what i'm saying is is this is like a gimmicky build thing but it's not just like a youtube moment like hee hee haha -ha. you can actually do this like in actual competitive games and it would be viable but then there's the flip side of it. You could also just not do this and build Tsukiyomi normally, and it would be perfectly fine as well. But my point is, is like this isn't just like a YouTube thing. You definitely can go bobble Tsukiyomi, uh, and, and you know even make it optimal in certain matchups where you really need to spam cooldowns, right? Like say you're in a matchup that's like really tough for you, like that that character beats you. The bobble could be a very good defensive option to help get you out of certain situations, right? So um, I think what I'm gonna do here, because that was only like this is only a 14 minute video so far. As per usual, I'm going to queue up again and get you guys at least one, two, three more games, depending on how fast they are, how competitive they are, etc. Right? 
Um, and uh, then I'll, I'll see you guys there. So I'll go ahead and skip you guys into the next game. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, we're off into the second game. And okay, let's go. We're against um, we're against a Bologna, which I actually love going against Bologna. I mean, it depends on the matchup, right? Some matchups, it's like it just feels too bad. But I mean, most of the time, I like going against Bologna because I think this character is incredibly overrated. Now, granted, let me just say this before I lose to this guy and look, you know, get super embarrassed. Um, when I say she's overrated, I don't mean she's terrible and that she can't win, okay? It's just, I feel like a lot of people think she's some sort of, like, unstoppable god. I'm gonna go Golden Shard this game. I don't know, maybe that's crazy, but... I think a lot of people, like, overestimate her and think she's, like, better than she is, I guess. Do we want the mid? Like, do we really need the mid? Mm -hmm. Alright, whatever. Anyways. A lot of people think this character just is like a must ban in duel and she wins like majority of matchups and that's not true. Uh, like a, a lot of characters can take her out and Satira is actually like a masters level player, GM level player. Played against this guy a lot. As you can see he's being pretty chill right now. I, I trust him to not fight me because, or to not like betray me because why would he? Like he's never done it before. But also because, I mean, Bologna's level three isn't even that crazy good anyways. Like I would probably win the trade to be honest, um, especially with like the start that we went, right? 30 power, uh, which reminds me, I'm probably not going to get this red buff, huh? Because of that. Because he has five potions. He has five potions to my measly one. Not great. We don't love that. Absorb stack. Alright, Bologna's broken, dude. Most OP character in the game. Yeah, Bologna's one of this guy's, like, main characters, so... Hopefully this will be a competitive match for you guys, and hopefully I can demonstrate the Bobble Sugiyomi. And uh, also, hopefully we'll come to the conclusion, like, this game, because it's a relatively good game, right? We'll come to the conclusion of whether it's, like, actually good or... I mean, like I said in the end of the last video, like, I do know that it's viable. Like, it's 100% viable. No one can tell me different. But is it optimal? That's a different question. Is it something you're supposed to be doing? Yeah, hopefully we find out this video. Or, well, this game. Dude, the, the CDR rush is so good on Tsukiyomi, man. Like, don't get me wrong. I think, like, every character in the game would love to be able to rush 20% cooldown, right? Everybody wants their cooldowns up, even auto attack characters. But, like, I don't know. Some gods just... For one, they need their cooldowns more than others, and for two, I'm going to stop his back because I want Meteor Pressure. Meteor spawns in 20 seconds. He would have made it back just in time to get the Meteor. We do not want that. Oh, dude, I should have stopped his back again, to be honest. But, oh well. And also, we're putting minions into tower as well. We're going to get on this side of the Meteor. Hopefully, we get this. Like I said, I probably should have stopped his back again, but... Tsukiyomi does get the Meteor relatively fast because every other auto attack gets it for two, so... Alright, we got it. That's good. See, if we didn't stop us back there, we wouldn't have got the Meteor. Stopping backs with a purpose, ladies and gentlemen. Not just to do it, just to be a jerk. There's a reason for it sometimes, and other times you're just being a jerk. Okay, this is uh, pretty risky, I will say that. Okay, <laughs> ended up working out for us. The way I saw it was, I was, I know, I knew that he was gonna ult me and stun me, right? And I knew I was gonna be an entire minion wave. Those are the main things that are scary, uh, because like he has a full minion wave to damage me. Um, but as far as Bologna herself, like she doesn't do that much damage. I wasn't really sweating her. It's just the fact that she's stunning me in an entire an entire minion wave, right? That's the sketchy part. But I figured if I could at least get my two off. And I don't even just mean the stun, I mean like the disarm, right? I would stop. Ooh, got lucky. I didn't have Chester press pressure. Like I was at my base when they spawned, right? <clears throat> but he's he's right there for me. Um, but any anyways, um, I just knew that if I didn't die in the ult and I got my two off, we would be fine. So I was worth I was willing to risk it. One thing uh, worth noting, I didn't pop my med there, which I probably should have. Although he did horrific me, so it wouldn't have done that much anyways, but still would have been more worth it to, to do it, right? Dude, I missed my one. Now, don't get me wrong. He has 300 health. You can tell by the uh, the, the blocks. 
like um if you guys didn't know every single line in someone's health bar uh is for 100 points of health so since he had two lines there was three blocks you know that is uh 300 hp and my one wouldn't have done that much damage so i wouldn't have killed her but i still would have very much so preferred of course to hit her with that We are giving up the red a little bit just because of my positioning. Honestly, I just wasn't in a great position. But also, I don't really mind getting the blue buff early game. Like, I'm running out of mana if I do spam. And now we have 20%. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got more mana at MP5 with this. But we have 40% cooldown now. So we can spam our cooldowns really fast. Also, another thing that's worth noting is... Um, Bologna... Oh, wait, never mind. I was going to say Bologna ult is actually a low cooldown. So he probably wasn't expecting me to have my ult before his with my 20% cooldown rush. But they actually nerfed Bologna. Her ult is no longer 75 second base. It is now 90 base, which is like considered to be like default. What I mean by default is like m m majority of characters in the game have a 90 second ult. Not every character. You know, you got your Hunbatses and your whatnot, right? But majority of characters have a 90 second base cooldown ult. Some less, some more. Alright, we hit him with all four of these. Very good. Oh, we missed. Okay. <laughs> he got a little bit over aggressive there. I don't really know why he's chasing me to my tower. <laughs> and putting himself in like a bad spot like that. Especially with Golden Blade Bologna. I swear that character does no damage. Obviously she does some damage. I'm exaggerating when I say she does no damage. But I'm telling you. I actually hate Bologna so much. Like, I hate playing her in Duel, specifically. Like, a short explanation for it is, it feels like when you're in a losing matchup with Bologna, there's nothing you can do, right? And when you're in a winning matchup with Bologna, it's the most boring thing ever, because usually when Bologna wins a matchup, they never fight you because they can't fight you because you just disarm them, right? I kind of gave that to her, but... So anyways, if you're losing, that sucks. If you're winning, it still sucks because people never fight you. They just run away the entire time. So the way I see it, Bologna does low damage, has a hard time confirming kills, and either just loses or has the most boring game of all time. So it's just a lose-lose playing Bologna, in my opinion. But I understand there's a lot of people who really lo who really love Bologna um, and stuff. Like, you listening right now, you might love Bologna. And if you do, that's okay, man. Everybody has... You know, everybody's got differences in opinions. That's what makes the world so amazing, right? So, just because I don't like Bologna doesn't mean I'm looking down on you for liking Bologna. You do whatever you gotta do, man. You play whatever you find fun at the end of the day. Alright, so he did just get that Chester. I really want to get this Bobble before the next red buff, if I can. Dude, I might miss it, man. Oh, that would suck. I mean, it wouldn't suck that bad. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't really need the red that bad. I just want it, you know? <clears throat> I want to stop her from getting it, especially, like, the XP and whatnot. Do I just use my two for a little bit of movement speed? All right, it should be spawning right now. Because my blue just spawned. Probably gonna beads her ult. I need to say that out loud to remind myself because I now have beads. <laughs> All right, bro just ran away. Now Satiro is a bit of a cheesy player, and I mean that with the utmost respect. It's, it is possible that he knows my blue is up and he went straight to my blue because he knows I'm going towards the red and he'll have time to get it regardless of him being low HP. But it is also possible that he did not do that. Okay, he did not do that. Be right back. Be right back. I'm going to upgrade the med early. This case, I don't know, it's fun, and also it makes them, like, it scares them, I think. Like, it makes them scared to fight you, which actually, now that I think about it, maybe that's a bad thing. Because, like, he's always going to assume my mid's up and be scared of me 24-7. He does have defense finish now, though. Good. Alright, popping our med because we used our one on the minion wave, so we didn't get the extra cooldown back on it.
All right, this is stupid, bro. This actually feels like the Bumba's days. And don't get me wrong, again, it's not just Bobble that's doing this. It's Tsukiyomi's one, the fact that it has a cooldown reduction. All right, this is not all a Bobble moment, but Bobble is not helping the case to say the least. What the? I didn't realize that it was, <laughs> I thought I reset it before I went in. And I'm, I'm aware of how it works. Like if you're targeted and then you disable it, Oh no, okay, I gotta get out. He, he has his ult. Like, I know how I know how the tower works. Like, if it's disabled and you reset it, the reset doesn't work. Oh my god, okay, I should have I should have backed up. I wonder if I'm gonna get the tower off that though. Because if you look, my minions are like stuck on something. There's Okay, I don't know what they were stuck on. Probably just another minion. But uh, I wonder if they're going to kill his tower because it was probably not, honestly, but it is possible. Now, regardless, even if my minions did get his tower, it's not like not like that makes that a worth play. I shouldn't have stayed. I, like, what I did was stupid, but I was hoping my minions would get the tower. But there wasn't that many of them, and they uh, didn't get to the tower until the minions spawned, right? So, And he just got the rock, which is extra not good. I think I just go for Bull Demon, honestly, while he's healing his tower. Because, I mean, I have my, my med in 12, right? So I think I should be able to fight him pretty easily. Should be able to get the uh, tower off of that, hopefully. I might end up losing the red buff because I'm going for this tower, but I'm okay with that trade. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like he like did his blue buff before he backed because I feel like he should have been back sooner. Maybe not though, I don't know. So we were just baiting the bull demon. The reason why I wanted to go for the bull demon, I mean, I wasn't baiting it at first. I really, I really did want to get, I thought he was gonna stop my back. I really did want to get the bull demon. Um, but we started baiting it once I realized that he left his tower and was actually trying to fight us and whatnot, right? Okay, uh, that, that's just literally a mid bait. That's nothing more than just a mid bait. He, he tried to stop my back because, well, he just wants to stop my back and be annoying. But also because I was, um, I was low on mana and he didn't think he could get punished. But, like, I have, I have med, bro. Like, what? Like, I have meditation, what do you mean? I almost didn't do this full demon because I kind of forgot that we never got it before. I almost forgot about my boy. My boy, full demon. An implement worthy of myself. Uh, we'll get this. Maybe it's worth it to like, I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I want this Jotun's bigger proc. It has the it has the chance of giving me a ton of healing in an opportune moment that I need it in. It has a chance of allowing me to chase him with more movement speed. It has a chance of allowing me to escape. Wow, that was bad. Escape him with the movement speed. Like I think it's definitely worth it to have. All right, he's going crit Bologna, which is good. He actually does need to burst me, but Golden Blade's just bad with that type of build. He should have went like Transcendence or Dominance or something. I got the proximity ward because I think it actually has a lot of uh, effect on Bologna because she's like a pretty immobile character. Like she just needs to, she, she relies on chasing you down and killing you, you know what I mean? Like um, she doesn't have like any slow immunities in her kit or anything like that. So, um, just her ult that we have to play around pretty much. She also has beads, but uh, you know, we don't have our meta. I don't really know what he's doing right now, I'll be honest. So we proximity awarded him, nothing he can do. We're also using our Jotun's Vigor movement speed. He, he played that pretty bad, I'll be honest. I don't really know what he was doing there, but at the same time, while he did play it poorly, I don't really know what he could have done to stop me either, so.
This won't miss. Uh, I think I want this wave here. I think I do. I do declare. So he just proximity warded in his base. Interestingly enough. I'm gonna use beads because he he popped. I mean, I'm gonna use med because he popped his beads. So he clearly wants to commit to this fight. We just have infinite cooldowns, dude. Like we actually just have infinite cooldowns. Like how is he supposed to touch us? Fair amount of healing off of the Jotun's vigor proc. I mean, well, I haven't backed in forever, so I have like 3k gold in hand, but. Clearly, we do enough damage by just spamming cooldowns, right? I mean... Dude, how is this guy still in this game, man? How am I not just killing the Titan? I mean, I, I mean, I think I know why. It's because I have, like, so much gold in hand. And it's only 15 minutes in, but still, bro. What are you doing? Bro, he just wants to fight me when I have all this gold in hand. I'm oom. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, there's no way. How are you dying to a Sukiyomi with 4k gold in hand? Like, dude. I swear, like, this is why people comment on my videos sometimes and say things like, Bro, if I queued in your region when Wink versus these GM players, I would totally be the best. Like, I would totally be capped MMR. Like, and I understand why you guys think that, because, dude, these players that are quote-unquote GM, quote-unquote masters, suck, bro. No offense, Satyrum. <laughs> but, like, bro, what is that thought process, man? Like, they just run it down and, like, hope it works. Like, what actually is that thought process? I will never understand that, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to queue up one more. I think I'll probably skip queue, and then I'll queue up one more, because that was a pretty decent game. Like, that was 15 minutes long, and, uh, well, it should have been more competitive, right? But we're... I mean, to be fair, one thing I will say in Satira's defense, he played that game terrible, but what I will say is... Bologna loses this matchup, I promise you. Bologna versus a Meditation Bobble Tsukiyomi. The reason why the med's important is because you saw it that one fight. If he pops beads to immune my CC, he needs to all in me when he pops the beads, right? Well, I pop med and get another stun, and then what? I get another disarm stun combo, and then uh, his beads is now irrelevant because I stunned him once again, right? And he's stuck in the slows regardless. So, you know, whatever. But I'll go ahead and skip you guys into the next game. Thank you so much for watching. Alright guys, we're off into the final game. Today's been a surprising day, man. I actually haven't uh, had anyone ban Tsukiyomi against me. Which I'm not saying he's like, I don't know, that he's like the most common ban ever. But like, he's common enough to where like, I would have at least one or two games where uh, they ban it, right? But it has not happened today, so. Interesting. Been able to get my recordings one after another. We like that, we like that. Uh, against Mr. Argus Boy, I will be going beads first. Uh, because, you know, beadsing the knockup from Argus is pretty valuable, but more importantly, beadsing the, um, the polymorph is big. Especially because, like, my two's knockup up me and I can use that to get out of Argus, or just not care about the Argus knockup. That doesn't really matter that much. The main thing is the poly, especially since they made that change, like, a while back. It's like an old change now, but they made that change where, um, you can bead stirring abilities. So, um... I can press 2, and then she'll try to CC me out of my 2, and I can beads, and then, um, you know, avoid that problem, man. Dude, this guy is so lucky that I'm not a, I'm not a jerk, man. Because Hera would stand no chance at fighting me in this situation. Like, if I were to betray her and gank her right there, she would be doomed, bro. She would be doomed. She probably wouldn't die, but I would poke her out really hard. Now, it's not even about being a nice guy, to be honest. I just like playing the games normal. Like, I like it, I like it when it's like a fair and square battle, I suppose. What hell? Oh, protect my soul. 
Right. Okay. So it says that it only did a 125, but that is incorrect. I promise you that is not how much damage it did. Um, it's because of like it's there's a bug when you kill people with an ability. Sometimes it says it does no damage, and other times it like reduces it depending on if it's like channeled or not. But anyways, you guys may have noticed that I actually leveled my two up there instead of my one. That's not like hidden tech. You should level the one on Tsukiyomi. But my one was already down and my two was up and so i was like bro this guy's literally in melee distance of me and i don't have my one and i'm i want to get a kill so i just put an extra point into it real quick to uh secure that kill for us and that's part of why it did so much damage is because i did put an extra point into it and it's just a hard hitting ability in general right so i didn't need to beads that kind of panicked a little bit won't even lie I did not need to beads the Argus knockup because I kind of forgot. Like I don't know, I, I have a little bit of PTSD from all those years of Sukiyomi's one getting knocked up, or his two rather. His uh, his two gets knocked up, but now it has knockup immunity. He came out with that, but then they nerfed him and took it away, and he recently got it back, like a few months back. And uh, I know that, like I'm well aware that he's knockup immune in his two, but sometimes my muscle memory just kicks in. I see a knockup, and I'm like, oh my god. Not like this. He does have Chronos Pendant, so he'll have uh, his shield and his Polymorph up really soon. Gotta keep that in mind. If I go for a dive like that, oh, he just stood in the minion wave. Yeah, this is not going to be a very competitive game, is it? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. He did use his Aegis, so that is down, and I have ult in four seconds. So, like, here's my question. You know, answer if you want. Don't if you don't, you know. But, like, here's my question. is: Do you guys think he, like, thought he was going to live there? Like, was that, like, a I'm just going to sacrifice myself, I don't care moment? I'm going to get this wave? Or do you guys think he really thought he was going to survive that? Because, like, in my head, I'm just like, bro, how do you think that you're going to live that? Like, there's no way you actually think that, right? Oh, I just realized I'm against some magical, so I can't, like, rush Bobble as fast as I want. Now, I still have a way to get it. In fact, it's probably preferred. I'm going to go Genji's for 30% cooldown, and then I'm going to go Hydra's for 40%, and then get Bobble. So I'm going to still have it, but I can't get it by third item. I have to wait until fourth item. He's dead because he has no Aegis. Tsukiyomi is actually so good against magical characters, man. Like, the, the fact that, like, I have a way to build Hydra's easier against them, too. Like, in a, in a bobble build, I mean. Oh, it's so nice, man. It's so nice. But Tsukiyomi is just good against magicals, because... I don't know, he just outbursts a lot of them, I'd say. It's like, it's like he's like a mage himself. I mean, obviously he does physical damage, but as far as his ability base, like prowess goes it's like he's a mage himself except he does damage with auto attacks so i mean he's just the best of both worlds man and he's a melee character but but like he's a melee character but he has ranged autos and stuff so i don't know just does it all what can i say And we timed that auto perfectly, baby. It's too freaking easy for the boys. I'm not timed the auto on the uh, the Aegis. Although I don't think it matters. I mean, I don't think he had his cooldowns back. Maybe if he has 40% cooldown, like when he has his breastplate completed, maybe he'll have his cooldowns back then. But or maybe he did. And that's the entire reason he Aegis, right? It's because he thought he could get something off after the Aegis, but he did not. Is he pushing up right now? Look out, look out, look out. There's someone behind you, bro. It's me. Oh yeah, I was gonna say he does have Aegis this time for this ult, but then I just remembered he literally just uses Aegis on an auto attack. 
Like the last fight, so I suppose he does not. An implement worthy of my I should have probably just bought a power pop there to be honest, but I'm not going to until I at least get my bobble online. I want to rush the point of the video, man. You know, I want to rush the entire point. I mean, don't get me wrong. A big part of the video is just playing Tsukiyomi. Like, we love Tsukiyomi. But another part of it is going bobble. Now we're going to back up here. Get this. I'm going to go med second relic, probably, as per usual in this video. I mean, I usually get it first, but I'm going to get beads med. But for right now, since I'm not going to upgrade it yet, I don't see, like, Horn Shard is literally just a baby med, right? Med only gives me cooldowns when I spend 800 gold. And I don't want to spend 800 gold yet, so. This dude really wants this meteor, huh? No way. He just walked over my cow drops and died, bro. Poor guy. He actually played that fight pretty decent, to be honest, in comparison to some of the other fights. He actually went pretty hard there. But, uh, alas. It was all for nothing, man. He's just, he's just too far behind. He finally had his uh, full cooldown, Horn Shard. He just used his shield, but... I did just talk about how he has full cooldown now. You know what would have been really good here before they nerfed it? Green XD. Because Green XD, before they nerfed it, at least to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, before they nerfed Green XD, it applied the full 50% anti shield and anti heal, or 40%, whatever it is, um, on one auto attack. One auto attack applied the full like anti shield effect, right? And now you have to stack it up to four, so it's more of a hunter item. But technically, I could have played Tsukiyomi and went Green Xe and hit him with one of my ranged autos and anti-shielded him. That would have been pretty good. Yeah, this tower is like 1 HP, big dog. Kind of just missing every ability right now, no big deal. Why do I feel like that Argus is so squishy, bro? Like, is he not leveling him? Is that a level 1 Argus? Because he gets tankier as you level him. Alright. It's it's gamer time. We, we have the bobble, baby. We've got the bobble. 50% CDR overlord here. Ready to frag. Probably get this meteor first though. Don't want him to have it. Alright, then we're gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna use that to prep my one. I'm gonna put a proximity ward here. And then we're gonna go straight to this bull demon king, baby. If he contests at all, I'll probably just ult to him. Like, straight up, I'll just ult right to him. Especially if he walks over that proximity ward, he gets slowed by it. Dude, look at my one. What <laughs> my city. I hit him with it five times right there, dude. That is absolutely insane. Oh my god. What is this, dude? <laughs> now, like I said at the beginning, if you don't go Bobble and Tsukiyomi, he can still do that. It's just like one second in between. Like, it's like, I think Bobble gives him 1.4 seconds off of his one or something, so... That's the, that's the main difference. Oh, we're one, or well, we're like two games off cap MMR, which is good. Um, and for anybody who like, I don't know, thinks that I, I, I am playing in GM ranks. Like I haven't even lost this season yet. Uh, I haven't played that much. I've only played 37 games, but I am playing against 
or I am queuing up as a GM player at a main time of day on East Coast NA servers. Like, I don't know. Some people like like to say things that like um I don't know. Some people like to pretend like you're queuing on dead servers to get bad games or something like that, but I don't know. I I, I don't know how else to say it to you guys. Some of these players just aren't that good, man. Like they just aren't. Even if they're GM ranked, GM ranked does not make you good. This was the game that you guys missed. I actually played um one game before, like I told you guys about, and uh, yeah, it was a an interesting situation. Turns out Sukiyomi's just a good god, man. And turns out Bobble makes him even more good. But like I said, you definitely don't need to go Bobble. Like you definitely don't have to. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys. Uh, let me tab out so I can mute Sukiyomi in the background, so you guys don't have to hear that. But I'll give you guys a quick little like uh, what I think I would build, and as far as the full, um, the full Bobble build goes, and non Bobble. Although it's going to be very similar, to be fair. I mean, as per usual, right? Um. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Um. I got, I got a text and got distracted there. My bad. All right, so boom, boom, magical. Of course, you go the Genjis, and um, honestly, you could go Berserker Shield on this character too. It'd be perfectly fine. But I don't know. I think Hydras is a little bit overrated these days. You don't really need to get Hydras on Sukiyomi. Although one thing I will say, you can just go fifty percent CDR. Like that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Like it, it, it's not that big of a deal. If you like Hydras on Sukiyomi, then go for it, man. But this would be the bobble build. I go boom, boom into that, into this. If you need anti heal really bad, then you get anti heal. If you and then I would finish the build off with Heartseeker, right? Um, finish the build with Heartseeker. If you don't need anti heal, then you'd probably go. Wait, let me look at the build real quick again. Uh, you could get the Hydras, like I said. You could get Crusher. You could get... Yeah, I'd say it's probably either Hydras or Crusher, honestly. Okay, there's other options for sure, but I wouldn't really recommend them. You probably... I'm just going to put them here as, like, honorable mentions. Hydras or Crusher. Hydras, call it a day there, you know. And uh, as far as the non-bobble build goes, I'm not actually going to change it. Here's the bobble build. Uh, you just take out Bobble. Wow, who would have thought, right? And then that's when you can put in Hydras or Crusher over the Bobble. Or, if you want to get really spicy, you can go Trans. Actually, I should have said that before. When you're going the Bobble build, if you wanted to, you could go Boom. And if you don't need Anti-Heal, you could go Transcendence into Heartseeker or even Heartseeker into Transcendence. You will stack this very well late game. So I should have mentioned that, actually. Uh, Transcendence is a good option as well. I'd say it's probably better than the Crusher, I would say. I would say Hydras or Transcendence are your two best options outside of that. And so, of course, when you uh, don't get the Bobble and you still don't need Anti-Heal, right? So if you need Anti-Heal, you would just go this build. But, well, I'd go like this order, boom, boom. And then I'd probably go Transcendence last or a Heartseeker last. Or, I mean, a Hydra's last, probably. I'm not a big fan of Crusher. It's not that it's bad at the... I mean, if you like Crusher, go for it. It's not bad. It's really not. It's preference at this point. As long as you get your core items online, you'll be okay. But uh, yeah, I'd say these are pretty much all the items I would recommend on Tsuki. I mean, which order you want to do them in and which ones you want to include, like Anti-Heal versus Bobble, etc. It's entirely up to you. But these are all of Tsukiyomi's, like best items, I think. Um, if you guys did enjoy watching the video, please give me a like and whatnot. I, hardly, I rarely ever ask for that kind of thing, but maybe I should start saying that more in these videos but please drop a like down below i appreciate you guys i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye goodbye